in this tech world where AI is taking things by storm and we are seeing generative AI and agentic AI are growing faster than we imagined. But if you are thinking that you are left behind and you are not able to match up the speed. So in this video, I'll show you how you can use web UI AI agent using which you can automate anything on any browser. Using this web UI AI agent, you can automate job search on the LinkedIn or any job sites, or you can also add some products in your Amazon cart and purchase that. And also you can do some reservations on IRCTC website and so many possibilities are there in order to use this. So without any delay, let's start. But if you are on my channel for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Aapke saamne ek bada sa red button hai. because I create content related to AI and I help individuals and businesses learn AI. Now, without wasting any time, let's go on the screen. Okay, so now we are on my screen where we are going to use this browser use web UI and using this, we are going to install this locally on our system and we'll see how it works. It is a very good AI agent which helps us automate browsers seamlessly using the help of generative AI and agentic AI. Okay, so I'll provide this link in the description as well and you can go and follow the instruction step by step and you can also install this on your local machine and start using it. Okay, so now if you see over here, there is an installation guide and it has given very easy to understand step by step process. So step one for option one, which is local installation. So for local installation, we are going to do this. First one is, first thing is, clone the repository. So how are we going to use um, or clone the repository actually? Uh, just make sure that your system has Python and Git installed on your system. So if you are using uh, Python for the first time, you need to in install and configure Python on your system. So please make sure that your system also have Python. So here under terminal, I just need to go on uh, idea projects. So under idea projects, if I just go and use this, then automatically it is going to create web hyphen UI folder. So I can go in here. So it is now going to clone the repository and will change the repository to web hyphen UI. So as soon as I clicked, so you see over here, now it has created web hyphen UI and everything is under web hyphen UI under idea projects. Okay, so perfect. Uh, so now my uh, location is also changed to web hyphen UI, which is good. Now uh, what I need to do, set up Python environment. So we need to set up Python environment for my uh, project, right? And for this, they are saying that you need to have, we need, uh, uh, we need to have UV. So what is UV actually? UV is, um, okay. So what is UV actually? It helps to manage uh, Python environment. So if you go on this, then it says that you need to, uh, you know, install UV. So if uh, you see over here, my, uh, Mac and Linux for this, you need to just install this, uh, just use this command on your, um, on your terminal or on your CMD for uh, that, you need to have different uh, web, this command. So for PowerShell, actually, you need to use PowerShell over here, but uh, I think there is some more. Anyways, so you can use PowerShell. Uh, so you just have to open PowerShell and uh, execute this command on your Windows machine and this UV is gonna get installed on your system. So let me check again. So everything is installed on my system. So UV is also installed. Okay, so first we need to execute this command here. Uh, so I'll just go in here again. And I need to initiate the virtual environment. So now virtual environment has been created. So if I just go on my uh, IntelliJ over here, if you see this is one. Okay, so it has been created. So now I see that v, uh, dot V E N V, which is virtual environment has been created. Now, if I go back and I need to, I need to uh, activate this virtual environment. So for that, I need to use this Mac OS hyphen Linux command. So over here, if I just go back again, then 
I need to use this and with this my virtual environment has been created so if you see over here uh, within parenthesis it shows web hyphen UI that means virtual environment has been created so now next is you need to install all the dependencies so step 3 is installing dependencies so for that you need to have uv pip install hyphen uh, r requ requirements dot uh, txt so we need to install all the requirements so what are requirements just i'll quickly show you where it is so here if you see there is uh, there should be one uh, requirements dot txt file basically so here okay so so there should be one requirements dot txt so see over here so it is saying that these all things we you need to install so we are going to install that so we need to copy this uh, particular uv pip install uh, this command and we need to run that command on our system so as soon as we run that it is going to create all the all the or install all the requirements and then we need to install the uh, playwright also so it is internally using playwright similar to the selenium but playwright uh, they have used so over here playwright also installed so we are good with the playwright now we need to configure the environment so for configuring the environment we have another one cp.env.example.env so basically what we are doing over here we are copying the environment variables over here so there is one environment uh, so see over here example dot in env so dot env dot example actually so there is one uh, env or environment file is there basically where it keeps all the environment related details so here if you see google api key azure uh, open ai so if you wanted to use different types of uh, uh, llms then you can use that also I'll show you how you can use that also but uh, for now just you need to copy this uh, virtual environment so I copied this file uh, this command basically and I use this and th this is how it got copied so over here you see this shows over here dot env file now if I come back and clear the console and then go back over here now next thing is there is option two basically which is docker installation so we uh, we were doing local installation so we need not to go on the docker installation so option one is uh, what we have tried over here docker installation we are not doing so we can go up okay so now we are ready with the setup and we can run our program on our system so over here if you see run the web ui so in order to um, after you complete the installation you can use this command uh, so we just have to copy this command and we have to paste it over here so what basically it is doing it is going to run web ui.py file python file and on the port 212700 and 7728 it is going to run this uh, project so i just pressed enter so it is taking uh, it is running that program and once it is uh, ready to configure so I'll just okay so it is it has started so now in some time it should be ready with uh, use case so now okay so running on local URL on this so I just copied this local URL I should be going on my uh, on my system on my browser basically and I paste this URL and now this comes the browser ui so basically using this this is the ui using which we are going to automate anything so this is we are ready with the agent so over here if you see this shows agent settings there are different tabs over here so agent settings llm configuration browser settings run agent deep research so what we do in agent settings actually we have some uh, some uh, you know settings already for this we are going to use custom uh, agent type so we are uh, we need not to touch this but if you go on LLM configuration you have so many LLM providers so over here so uh, you can use any different types of LLMs basically Anthropic, 
ओपन ए पी आई डीप सी गूगल ओलामा एजोर ओपन ए आई मिस्ट्रल अली बाबा मोन शूट एनी थिंग एंड देन मॉडल नेम ऑल्सो यू नीड टू सेलेक्ट सो फॉर नाउ ओवर हियर वी आर गोइंग टू सेलेक्ट गूगल एंड फॉर गूगल वी आर गोइंग टू यूज जेमिनी टू पॉइंट ऑफ फ्लैश ओनली एंड टेम्परेचर वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू टच दिस एंड एवरी थिंग इज गुड ऑन ब्राउजर सेटिंग्स वी आर गोइंग टू मैंशन यूज own browser so we wanted to use our own browser and uh, browser width and uh, browser height everything you can mention over here and also you can uh, put there are some options over here so keep browser open that means if you run your program then after doing the action it uh, should it keep your browser open or should it close and also over here run your browser without gui so if you click this then it is going to run in headless mode and then uh, disable security and enable recording so uh, it has um, recording also is going to be saved so if you wanted to enable this then it is going to save on this particular location record underscore uh, videos and if you just you know as per your uh, need you can select or unselect this now run agent basically this is the place where you are going to use the generative ai related prompts so what you need to do you have to do you have to write over here and it is going to perform so i'll uh, do this also so here deep research so um, i mean you can play around with this also maximum research uh, search iteration or maximum qu query per iteration something uh, you know uh, how many times it should search on the ui results uh, you will find out results over here once we run this then we'll uh, see that and recordings will appear over here and any configuration which you wanted to load in this uh, you can save this also so now over here uh, what we are going to do we are going to uh, set up this llm configuration for this we need some api key so now let's go back on our uh, this here so in dot e and we actually we need to save this google api key okay so now over here now google api key how you can get this google api key or uh, open api key also you can go and check this out so i am going to google ai studio so on this i can go and i can get the get the api so if you haven't created your account it'll, it'll ask you to uh, you know create your account so get api key from here i can just generate one api key and uh, so create api key and on this uh, whatever if uh, there is no project then uh, it will ask you to create projects and all so you can create apis from here create api key in existing project if you don't have any project then it will ask you to create new project and you can uh, create that project and then uh, you can create the api key so i created the api key and it is generating the api key so this is the api key by the way and i am copying this don't worry i'll delete this after this video so don't copy my uh, google api key so i pasted over here and then uh, it is done okay nothing we need to do more so i just went in here and it is going to read the api key from my environment variable itself and we need not to do anything now running the agent so what i can uh, say over here um, go to uh, google.com and search for amazon.in go into the uh, search for any search for iphone which is less than 10000 or uh, let's suppose 70000 okay so let's see if uh, it is able to perform this and rupees and give me the name of iphone model okay 
so let's see if uh, this is able to perform this at least okay so uh, as i click this run agent uh google api key not found please set google api key okay so if i just go in here okay i think i didn't save this or what please set google api key environment variable or provide it in the ui so we can provide this in ui as well but uh, it's fine okay so we can provide from here also so let's see okay so it should go on the google.com so it has gone on so now it is see now it is finding out amazon.in and i didn't automate anything right so amazon.in it went and now it is it should go on the first link which is uh, mobile or it may go in uh, mobile and accessories directly so now it is on amazon.in so let's see if it is able to you know uh, search for iphones under 70000 okay so meanwhile if you like this video please don't forget to like because uh, it gives us it gives me motivation so now it is on iphone less than 70000 so let's see if uh, amazon has that uh, functionality at least you know so it searched for all those iphones which are less than 70000 so let's see if it is able to give us uh, the uh, price and model name uh, we didn't ask for price by the way but uh, let's see if it is going to return us the okay so now it is done so we can see everything is getting executed over here okay so here if we see okay so now all the results are coming over here it has uh, given all the features and everything everything it has uh, counted over here so you can also uh, call something that uh, you know uh, so it found hell lot of thing you know uh, so let's see uh, what it is so here uh, we can go in results and we can see the latest recordings also so whatever was the recording uh, whatever it did it is going to give us the recording also it will be saved in under tmp folder of uh, you know so we can see the recordings and also the results so if you go in results let me stop this so you see final result it is giving us apple iphone 14 128 gb starlight is the one of the results so it has given us the final result and you can from here you can see what different things it has done and like this you can also uh, try multiple uh, scenarios like uh, you know you can automate anything so that was all in this particular video please make sure to subscribe the channel and if you like the video don't forget to like and share with your friends because this is going to be a very very fun and you can also start using this and this is the ai agent which automates the ui and you can download this on your local uh, system as, as well and you can use that and have fun with this because this agent and ai is very very good and very very interesting to learn so if you what different things you wanted to learn from me comment in the comment box and if you like this video uh, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel see you in the next one